Dreallday.com. What's good, everybody? Dre Ball with Dre All Day. Make a quick video. This is a quick message to all the players out there who are from small colleges, or you in high school, you think you might end up playing at a small college. You want to possibly extend your career and take it into the professional ranks where you actually get paid to play on a team you want to play overseas or in the D League or possibly the NBA or wherever you want to play. You want to make money playing basketball on a team. If you're from a small school, this is something that you need to understand because right now is spring or well, spring is coming up soon. Most of your seasons will be over within the next 30 days, within the next month, and then you don't have another season until when? August, September, October when practice starts again whether you high school or college understand something there ain't no off season to this shit it ain't no off season before I even get into that I'm gonna make a series of videos I'm actually gonna do some webinars for players out there who are interested in finding out things they need to do when it comes to college basketball and pro basketball especially those of you who are from smaller schools it could be for everybody but especially for those of you who are, who are from smaller schools or at smaller schools because that's where I come from. So that's where my specific expertise is. So I want to be able to reach out to those players and give you all some information. So if you want an opportunity to make it, I'm going to tell you the steps that you need to take. So on that note, if there are any questions you want me to cover about that certain topic, leave them in the comments to this video. And I will put those down once I start making these webinars. I'm going to do some more YouTube videos like this one. But I'm also going to do a webinar, which is basically like a course you can take, but it's all video. It's not like written on paper. It's a webinar course where you come online, you log in, and each time you watch the next course. So anyway, as I was saying, ain't no off-season to this shit when you come from a small school. No off-season whatsoever. You got to be in shape all year round. 12 months out of the year, any day of the week, somebody run up on you, you got to be ready to play and prove yourself. And the reason for that is... And the reason I emphasize it for small school players is because you already behind the eight ball. If you go, go to a small school, a division three school, especially a school where you, didn't, you don't have no scholarship, uh, even a JUCO or an NAIA school, even some D2 schools. And D2 is kind of in the middle. But if you go to a smaller school, whatever you consider small, you're already behind the eight ball because the players at those higher levels, they're going to get opportunities that you're not going to get just because of where they went to school, regardless of their skills, regardless of their stats. Excuse me. They're going to get opportunities that you're not going to get first. They're going to get first chance at those opportunities just because of where they went. And that's just the fact of the situation. Whether it's right or wrong, it doesn't matter. It's inconsequential to this point. You got to be ready at all times. And I know you watch TV and you watch other videos on YouTube and you see, oh, well, LeBron James or Stephen Curry, they take six weeks off in the off season when their season's over. Well, guess what? You ain't got LeBron James or Stephen Curry's talent, and neither do I. If you want to play and you really actually want to make it somewhere, you got to hold yourself to a different standard than they do. Or you got to have different rules for yourself than what they got for themselves because they already got their spot. They, those are the, the elite guys, quote-unquote elite, recognized elite Guys who go to those D1 schools, skip high school, come out of college early and get drafted to the league. The lottery picks. If that's you, then you go ahead. You do what they doing. But if that's not you, you got to look in the mirror and be realistic with yourself. If that's not you, you got to hold yourself to a different level of rules, a different standard of how you got to keep yourself in shape. You can't do what they do because you're not in their situation. When I was coming out of college, when I went to college, I went to a small school. I went to a school that was two years athletically it was a four-year school but it was two years athletically at the time then i got recruited to a d3 school so my when i stepped up i got to a d3 school so i had to be realistic with myself and say okay i'm not going to get i'm not going to be a, a nba lottery pick and i'm not a player who was recognized as elite out of high school or even out of college i gotta hold myself to a different standard i can't do what to do that the d1 school is doing or the dude that jumped from high school to the pros is doing i gotta do more than them i gotta be definitely gotta be in better shape than them because being in shape has nothing to do with talent or skill or the facilities you got or who your coaches is or who you know or where you from that's just you doing the work that's just discipline and you don't need nobody to tell you how to be in shape if you play basketball you know how to be in shape you know the stuff the coaches make you do you know what a suicide is you know the 17 sideline to sideline you know the full court sprints you could just do a bunch of suicides. How many of y'all ever been on the team in practice where the coaches made you run a bunch of suicides? You hated that shit, but it got you in shape, didn't it? You could just do that. 
You ain't got to know nothing. You don't need no tools. You don't need no equipment. You don't need no YouTube videos. You can just do that. But most people ain't got the discipline to do it. And if you're coming from a small school, you got to have 10 times the discipline of somebody from a D1 school. Because that D1 guy is going to get 10 times the opportunities you get that you won't never even see. He might pass on all of them, but you won't even know about them because they won't come to you with it because you're from a small school. So and that's for you high schoolers. You want to become a college player. You think you might have to go to a small school. Go to the school, but you want to put in your work. And you want to start laying the groundwork, not only with your, your resume, your professional profile when it comes to being a player. And I'll get to that in subsequent videos again. Anything you want me to cover, leave it in the comments. But I'm talking about laying the groundwork of your discipline. You got to manage yourself. That's the number one thing that most players miss. They come to me and they say, well, how can I get overseas? Or I got this video and I got these stats and I want to go to this camp. But they don't even have any, they don't have no self-discipline. Like they're not even in shape. You're not in shape. You're not ready to play right now on the spot today. Then you ain't ready to make it in the pros. Especially when you're coming from a small school. Because you might only get one opportunity a year. And if you don't capitalize on that one, then forget it. You out the game for another year. And every year you out the game, if you're not disciplined enough to keep yourself in shape while you don't have nobody watching over you, i.e. a coach or a contract or a team, then you're just pushing yourself further and further away from making it where you want to go. You gotta, gotta understand from all you small school guys, you will have very few opportunities to capitalize on and get in the pros and or stay in the pros. And you gotta be ready for every single one of them. So you are not those guys. You ain't got no off season. Once you get out of college, understand that this is, is full time all year round. It's an all year round job. I don't care if you got a nine to five, you better figure it out. Get up two hours early and go get your workout in. Because if you're a professional, that had nothing to do with how much money you make. A professional is a person who gets up and does their job every day, no matter the circumstances going on within or externally. And I'm gonna come out with more of these vids. Let me know what you wanna see, what you want me to talk about down there in the comments hopefully this is useful to at least one person out there watching work on your fucking game dre all day thanks for checking out this video make sure you follow all my top content up here follow me on all your favorite social networks right over here and make sure you are subscribed to catch all the new content i put on on this channel every single day work on your game